Let's go over how easy it is to select stitches, change stitch length and stitch width and needle position on the Foff Ambition 610. So when you turn your machine on, you will find that it will go right to a straight stitch. Now there's also an I for information button. So if you touch that, which I will throughout these videos, it will show us which foot we'll be using for that stitch that will change from stitch to stitch. If we need the IDT, which is that built-in walking foot part attached at that time, and what the tension is actually set at for a particular stitch. Now you can look at the top part where the stitches have numbers. So if you want stitch number 88, you pick that stitch and it shows you what you will be needing for the foot, the stabilizer, um, the tension has been adjusted for you, and what width and length the stitch is. If you wanna go back to a straight stitch, just pick number one. Another way to pick stitches is actually to arrow up or down. So if you arrow up, you'll notice, and here's the stitch number. Here's two, three, four, five. So if you're stitching out your stitch book, you, as you go from number uh, stitch to stitch, you can just arrow up, you're on your next stitch. Arrow up and you're on your next stitch. We always encourage you to stitch out all these stitches because trust me, this is not as exciting on screen as it will be on fabric. So here's something else I wanna show you. Number one, when and we're back to stitch one. When you're looking at the stitch length, so it starts us at, at 2.5 millimeters. When you change it, let's say we want it a little longer, touch the plus and the number highlights. When the number highlights, that's an indication that you have changed it off the normal settings. Now, as soon as you change to another stitch or even reselect stitch number one, which I'm going to do, it will clear out that setting. If you turn the machine off, that also clears it off. So instead of trying to minus, minus, minus until you get back to that normal unhighlighted uh, number on screen, just select another stitch and come back to it or reselect that same stitch. Easy way to clear. So let's say we pick a zigzag stitch. When you pick a zigzag, now you have a length and a width. And watch what happens on the width. So if you make it bigger, do you see the picture on screen getting bigger? If we make it longer, it also gets longer. This is actual size. So if we were to sew it on our fabric and hold it up to the screen, that's what you're going to get. This machine has a seven millimeter wide stitch width. So it is a nice width across your fabric. Those decorative stitches are going to look awesome. I'm gonna go back to a straight stitch because we also have the ability to change the needle position. Now, if you actually notice the needle is in the fabric from where I stopped sewing and that's okay. But I, um, so if I was to pick a needle position Position change, it won't matter until the needle actually comes up. So I'm going to touch the needle up button and you'll notice the needle has actually moved to the side a little bit. There are actually 29 needle positions on this machine, which that seems excessive until you actually need to find that exact one when you're doing top stitching, stitching in the ditch. It's lots of times when you're sewing a zipper, you want it just a little bit more. This machine has all those very minute differences in needle position. So when you're here, this is needle position as it's going to each side. And again, if you just want it back to the center, touch number one clears out anything that you've done to that particular stitch. So you can pick any of the stitches on the screen um, or up top here. Um, it's gonna show on your, your uh, readout here, tells you what foot that you're doing. It's really easy to get around. And I love the fact that if I just touch number one, I am back to a default straight stitch. So take the time to stitch out all 110 stitches. I think you're gonna be thrilled with what they look like. There is a link below this YouTube video that you can watch a free video in our FOF Stitching Cosmos online course on the perfect way to make the ultimate stitch book.